Welcome to St. Anne Lenten Reflection Podcast. Throughout this Lenten season, we will be praying in the form of Lexio Divina. We will be reading from the daily gospel reading and hearing a reflection from a parishioner at St. Anne. After the gospel is read, there will be a brief moment to reflect on how the Lord is speaking to you through the scripture. Today's reflection will be given by Peter Whitfield. Let us now prepare our hearts as we listen to the word of God. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, The Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he, and to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Today's gospel gives us an opportunity, now that we're well into Lent, in the third week, to evaluate our Lenten practices and think about whether there's something we need to add or adjust or even take away. The the greatest commandment to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength has a lot to do with this Lenten practice of prayer, as well as with fasting. So with Lent, we have prayer, fasting, almsgiving as the three main Lenten practices. And so loving God has a lot to do with prayer and fasting. And then we love our neighbor through almsgiving. So it's a good opportunity to think, okay, maybe I gave something up for Lent. Maybe I'm doing pretty well with that. And so I'm fasting to prepare for Easter and giving honor to God in that way, loving God in that way, as well as respecting myself in that way, right? Because we want to love our neighbors as ourselves, not less than ourselves, but not more than ourselves. And so fasting helps create a certain detachment in that way. So maybe it's time to think about going beyond just giving something up, though, and rather maybe adding on something to really prepare us for the resurrection of Christ. So, some kind of regular, consistent practice of prayer. Maybe every day I'm going to read the first 12 verses of John's gospel and just pray with that and meditate on the incarnation. Or maybe I'm really struggling with sins of speech, gossip, bad language, and so I'm going to take a look at uh, James and read that every day. So, adding... It doesn't have to be a big thing, but just a little bit of prayer and a little bit of almsgiving so that our Lent isn't just about emptying ourselves and giving things up, but rather can be an opportunity of preparation to prepare for our Lord's resurrection. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you for the strength and the courage and the grace to love God with our heart soul, mind, and strength. We hope you enjoyed the Lenten Reflection Podcast. The St. Anne vision is to bring people to Jesus, form disciples, and send them to transform the world. Share this episode and invite someone to join you on the journey to Easter. To learn more about St. Anne, go to stannparish.org.
God bless.